Hello and welcome to Tutorials Point. In Search Engine Optimization, today in conclusion, we'll discuss about the do's and don'ts of Search Engine Optimization. What are the do's that you should be doing and what are the don'ts that you shouldn't be doing, so on and so forth. Let's get started with it. SEO do's and don'ts. In conclusion, it is extremely important for us to understand the do's and don'ts of Search Engine Optimization. Search engine optimization process is extremely long and strenuous. What you need to do is you need to understand what you should be doing and what you should not be doing. They help you know what needs to be done and what is not. What are the do's? Let's check them out. The do's of search engine optimization. Follow Google guidelines. This is extremely important. Google provides wealth of information as far as the search engine optimization process is concerned what you should be doing, how you should be doing, what are the best practices that you need to implement, so on and so forth. So follow the Google search engine guidelines. Verify website with search engines. You need to, importantly, you need to, extremely important that you need to implement the guidelines and verify the website that you have built. The verification of the website is extremely important as far as search engine optimization is concerned. You need to verify your website with Google and you also need to verify the website with the Bing search engine. Ensure website is responsive. This is extremely crucial in these days. Every website has to be responsive. Unless and until you don't build a responsive website, it is extremely difficult to drive traffic and enable people to visit the website. Because a lot of users these days are actually browsing through their tablets and browsing through their mobile phones. So make your website responsive so that across the board, more and more users can actually browse through the website. Focus more on content. Content is the king. That is the buzzword in internet marketing and digital marketing. Unless and until you have high quality content, valuable content, beneficial for the content, for the users, it may not be of much help for you. Focus more and more on the content. Make sure the content is unique and original. Use keyword judiciously. Extremely important. Gone are the days when you used to do a lot of keyword stuffing both in the meta tags as well as in the content. Don't stuff keywords. Make sure that you use the keyword judiciously. The bare minimum, the better. Don't stuff keywords in the content. Use optimized meta tags. Extremely important. You need to identify the title of the page. You need to identify the description of the page. You need to identify the keywords of the page. Make sure you optimize your meta tags by giving relevant title, the keywords and the description for each and every page. Integrate and use Google Analytics. You have a website and traffic, traffic is coming to your website, but you need to analyze the traffic and the trends that are coming to your website. Make sure that you integrate Google Analytics in your website, which is absolutely free for you. Integrate Google Analytics and track the results, track the analytics. Ensure and see that you know how and where the users are coming, what are the pages they are visiting on the site and how much time they are spending. You need to actually track the analytics so that you can actually improve and enhance your website for more and more traffic. Optimize images. This is actually the most neglected part of search engine optimization. You need to optimize the images in two ways. One is actually make sure that your website, your image is not too big in terms of size and also you provide the alternative tag, the alt tag for the images. Make sure that you do these two things for all the images on the website. Keep reviewing and updating the website. Track the results through Google Analytics and see where the traffic is coming from, which place they are coming from, how much time they are spending and ensure that you, know, you do the necessary tweaking whenever and wherever necessary so that you can keep on updating the website. Now these are basically the, some of the do's of search engine optimization. Now what are the don'ts of search engine optimization? Never use copied content from other sites. Never ever do that. The more you copy, the more the spamming. The more the spamming, the site will never appear in the top pages of Google and there will be no visibility for your website. And if there is no visibility for your website, 
your website will not rank on the top pages of Google. And if the website doesn't rank on the top pages of Google, you will not get any traffic. Make sure you get the original and unique content for the website. Don't overuse keywords. Never ever do that. More the keywords you stuff, the more the problem for your website. Use keywords judiciously. Don't stuff keywords in meta tags. 10 years back, 12 years back, this was actually a practice when people used to you know, stuff keywords in the meta tags, 20 keywords, 30 keywords, 40 keywords, 100 keywords, because that was actually the trend 10 years back. It no longer is. It doesn't matter you give the meta tag keywords or not, but good practice is you give meta tag keywords, but ensure that you know the keywords are relevant, targeted, long, long tail keywords, and the keyword gel with the page of the site. Five keywords, 10 keywords, or eight keywords, that is fine, but don't stuff keywords in the meta tags. Don't submit website to low directories. As a part of the off-page optimization, people actually indulge in submitting, mass submitting of the website to various directories, 100 directories, 150 directories. That is actually doesn't make any sense it no longer. It is actually not a good practice to submit your website to so many directories. See if you can submit to quite a few directories, but that is fine, but don't overdo it. Avoid irrelevant links. In the process of actually working on getting links from outbound links from the other websites, make sure that you know the links you get are from the quality website. Don't actually do the linking and from the irrelevant websites. Don't use cloaking and doorway pages. These are actually the black hat tactics, doorway pages and the cloaking. Never ever do that on your website, otherwise your website could be banned. Don't do guest blocking for from bad sites. It is not a good practice. Though guest blogging still works, but to some extent. If you want to do really guest blogging, don't do guest blogging just for the sake of getting links from. Do guest blogging to provide valuable content. To provide valuable content, guest blogging still works. Never ever indulge in black hat tactics. It doesn't make any sense at all. If you are serious about your business, if you want your website to generate traffic for you, make sure that you never ever indulge in black hat techniques or tactics. In conclusion, SEO is organic process and takes time and to be patient. SEO is an organic process. It doesn't happen overnight. It takes long, long time, sometimes even four months, six months, eight months or up to one year. So you have to be very, very patient in actually working on search engine optimization. It doesn't happen overnight. Follow expert suggested articles and keep yourself updated. SEO is actually the process where a lot of new things are coming up. New algorithms are coming up from Google and other search engines. Keep yourself updated by reading your high quality articles from the SEO experts because a technique that is actually relevant today may be irrelevant tomorrow. So make yourself updated by keeping reading expert, ex excellent articles. Keep an eye on Google updates, extremely important. Google regularly comes with a lot of updates in terms of content, in terms of keywords, in terms of links. So you need to ensure that you know you keep yourself updated as far as Google updates are concerned. Never guarantee and promise top rank to your clients. This is actually the practice that most of the search engine optimization professionals do. When a client comes, they run into a client, the client says, I want my website on the top pages of Google. And the SEO profession immediately says, I guarantee you top pages of Google. That doesn't happen. It doesn't happen immediately. So never guarantee that you're going to get your website on the top pages of Google. Guaranteeing actually you could be in a serious trouble. Build trust, loyalty with honesty and commitment. Build long-term trust, loyalty with your customers. Be honest, be straightforward with them and do work committedly. Make sure that you follow all the guidelines, all the rules. Make sure that you provide high quality search engine optimization process for your clients and that is how you build loyalty, commitment and trust with your clients. In conclusion, what we have seen in this video is SEO do's and don'ts, SEO do's, don'ts and SEO conclusion. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you again.